Welcome once again from Pathfinder for me and here we have the analysis of IPMAT 2022. So we all know that the IPMAT exam was conducted on 26th of June and the exam as per the feedback from students was relatively on the easier side. So here is the detailed analysis of the exam, the sections, the kind of questions that appeared and so on. If you are a IPMAT 2023 aspirant, batches, the online batches for IPMAT 2023 are starting on 11th of July and 25th of July. Uh, if you are looking for some strategic inputs, you can subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. Uh, if you are looking for some inputs on quantitative aptitude, you can subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math. And trust me, we provide the best possible input on higher math, uh, which is one of the most important areas in IP Math of I am Indore. And even if you are not a student of maths, if you did not take maths in 11th and 12th, we start right from the basics to help you understand the higher math portion properly. So our batches will have recorded videos, ebooks, mock tests, 300 topic wise tests, section tests and so on. And we have live doubt classes for the IP Math 2023 students. Obviously, the CUET preparation is included. It's a part of your IPMAT preparation. Here we go. The agenda for this particular session, we will give you a basic information of I am Rahatak. We will have a summary analysis followed by detailed analysis, followed by our prediction of cutoffs and learnings for IPMAT 2023-2024 takers. Let's start with the basics. Uh, IPMAT I am Rohatak exam was conducted on 26th of June um, from 2 to 4 p.m. The mode was CBT, it was a computer based test and the number of test takers is at least 10 to 12k based on, this is based on the increase, the high increase in the number of centers. So I feel at least 10 to 12,000 people would have taken the IPMAT I am Rohatak exam. As far as the summary analysis is concerned, there was no surprise, three sections, quantitative ability, logical reasoning, verbal ability, each section had 40, 40, 40 and 120 questions, plus 4 for correct answer, minus 1 for wrong answers, maximum score was 160, all the three sections was, were mostly easy with a very few minuscule number of questions which were moderate in level of toughness. So I expect a really very high cutoff for the I am Rohatak IPMAT exam 2022. Now, when you look deeper into the section of quantitative aptitude, now what things were important? Now, you see that there are four questions each from quite a few areas. What are these areas? Number theory, time and work, time and distance, geometry, mensuration, permutation, combination. Again, these are all expected areas from which these questions have appeared. And then you have questions on arithmetic, you have questions on uh, simple and compound interest, you have questions on trigonometry, you have questions on clocks, you have questions from miscellaneous areas and so on. This particular section was quite simple. Now if you look at the significance, the importance given to arithmetic, see 3 plus 3, 6 plus 3, 9 to 11, 4, 15, 4, 19 and 3, 22. 22 out of the 40 questions have appeared from arithmetic, which means more than 50% of the weightage is given to arithmetic. This is something which you need to remember when you are preparing for IPMAT, I am Rohatak exam. The paper was mostly easy. I think a good attempt would be somewhere around 30, definitely not less than 28. You know, 28 to 30 would be a good attempt and with a very high level of accuracy that too. Then, reasoning section. There were questions on series, inequalities, syllogisms, Venn diagrams, analogies, classification, coding, decoding, blood relations, statement conclusion, circular arrangement, cubes and calendars, miscellaneous. So again, no surprises here. So if you look at the first two sections, that is quantitative aptitude, there was hardly any surprise. Even this particular section had no surprise. And trust me, the level of difficulty was easy to moderate. Mostly, the questions were very easy, which tells me again 
that a good attempt in this section 2 should be above 30 you know 28 to 30 should be a good attempt then verbal ability reading comprehension you had fill in the blanks you had synonyms and antonyms there were eight questions on synonyms and antonyms which tells you how much weightage they have for vocabulary sentence improvement idioms and phrases error spotting sentence rearrangement spelling errors analogy sentence completion and so on again this section 2 was mostly simple more than 30 in fact i would say 30 35 questions would be a very good attempt for this particular section now what might be the cutoff although i am rohatak has no sectional cutoff but since the paper itself was too easy i believe that the expected cutoff would be more than 300 for a very simple reason that the paper was simple and you know almost everyone i talked to actually mentioned the paper to be very very easy so let us wait and watch for that to happen for now thank you very much if you wish to prepare for ipmat 2023 exam do get in touch with us on 93439-21347. You can simply WhatsApp and we'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you very much.